Hi, I'm Sergeant Mike O'Neill and I'm here with a Throwback Thursday for you. I'm going to take you back to Afghanistan in December 2012, where I was the photographer for Task Force Helmand. In this media piece I've put together, I'm going to take you on patrol with two Lanks Battle Group and members of the Afghan National Police when we went looking for bomb making factories north of patrol base Atal. Have a look at this. We set off in the dark, so I had to wait for first light to actually start taking any photographs. The multiple was dropped off by Viking vehicles and the multiple commander made some assessments on the ground. The Afghan National Police showed up and shook out with the guys. We formed up before the AMP then had a group photograph. Even kids came out braving the cold before we then moved on. It was such a beautiful light, a beautiful colour, there's even a frost on the ground. But then I took this shot, which has become one of my favourite photographs that I've taken, and went on to win runner-up Best Operational Image 2013. The ground can be quite tough going in Afghan, and you've got to watch your step and get around obstacles as best you can. It wasn't before long though we took a break with some locals, they got the chai out and then a mini shora took place whilst our guys waited to move again. We always stayed a couple of tactical bounds behind the AMP. On the way we were having to negotiate obstacles across small streams and ditches that were full of water after the recent rainfall. It's always best to buddy buddy. There's always a threat and our marksmen and snipers were keeping a good eyes on of what was happening around us. People talk of the golden hour, but this one lasted for about three hours. Eventually we came across signs of the summer's opiate harvest. Then the AMP set to work burning a lot of the tall grasses. They told us it could be used for potential hides. So we waited while they did this. Even the dog likes to take a break and had a quick snack with his handler. Eventually our multiple commander jumped in the ditch because he, he found a hide. We completed and we, we waited to be picked up and there was banter and much fun to be had amongst the two groups, even with the language barrier. And then we moved back to the PB. I hope you enjoyed that throwback Thursday. I'm making some more, so stay tuned. Catch you later.